Hey YouTube, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I had something terrible happen, so I thought I would cover it. Um, I got my Quantum Wisp with my Pico 32-bit um, uh, brushed board all set up, and got my little Polu adapter there, and had everything wired up, and was flying around and having a good time, and then I burned a FET on the bottom, and now it doesn't operate right. And how that happened? Well, I got too excited, and I had some batteries I hadn't used before. Um, they were actually these batteries. And they had reverse polarity on them, and I plugged it in. Magic smoke, just a quick puff, quickly unplugged it. Damage done. Uh, the board does kind of work, um, but it's, it's not flyable. It yaws heavy left, um, and only gets worse the more throttle you give it. So... Um, that one's done. Ordered a new one. Um, so, battery polarity. Um, sometimes I think people might be confused, especially if you're flying what we call toy grade quads, which are quads that are very fun to fly. There's nothing wrong with them by any stretch. Uh, they're great for out in the front yard and quick little flights, things of that nature. We just don't have anything better to call them because there are so many different sizes of those quads. Um, but when you buy a battery it will sometimes mention a model that it's made for and sometimes that model will require reverse polarity and all that means is that the cables if you look at them when they're the same way um, the black and red wires are on opposite sides it doesn't mean that there's some internal wiring mechanism that's backwards it's just that the cable ends to meet the needs of the cable ends they would be plugging into or the battery leads they would be plugging into to meet that requirement, they were reversed. Um, so all you have to do is take them out. I found an old dusty box of push pins that you see on the old clipboards that probably aren't in too many schools these days, although I still see them in my kid's school. You want to push down on the tabs on the bottom side. You probably won't be able to see that, but if you have a battery, you know what I'm talking about. And then fiddle with it a bit as you pull it out, and the lead will just come right out. Now, once you do that, you don't want it to just kind of lay around freely, because when you do it to the other side, if those two make contact, then you short out your battery, and then you've got a dead battery, possibly, or a battery that's not going to run optimally. So be careful. What I do when I pull them out is I will take um, my little tiny micro needle nose and I'll grab one of the leads and just kind of pull it away so it's a long ways away from this one um, and it won't they won't touch when I pull the other one out and you switch them around put it back together throw a little heat shrink around there and you're done um, I was just looking at some of these others and they seem to be fine of course now I'm checking all my battery leads oh look at this one this is one that is going to need to be reversed. Oh, no, I was holding it wrong. Never mind. So as you can see, those are the same. Uh, I just got some new batteries. I was going to try these out. Uh, let's see if I can get one out here. Let's check those just for example. So I hold both the connectors the same way. Hold them down. I'm checking polarity. And all I'm doing is looking at the wires. Well, we got way too much stuff on here. So I hold them both the same. I'm just checking to make sure the red and the black wires are on the same sides on each connector. And you can see on this lower one, it's not. The red wire comes out of the top and the black wire comes out of the bottom. So this battery is reverse polarity. Um, you can also check that against something that... Whoa, look at that. That battery leads just hanging out there. That's in bad shape. Uh, you can check that against this which is a known good battery. I know it flies. I've used it many times in, I think, my Bang Toys X9. Um, so it's reversed. I have to pull these pins out and put them back in and then reheat shrink them. Be careful with your batteries. I don't know what I'm going to title this, but be careful with your batteries. Maybe I'll just title it Reverse Polarity, so maybe somebody will watch it. And my poor Quantum Wisp or Pico, 30, uh, Pico 32 board will not rise again and you won't suffer the same consequences so be careful out there uh, as always thank you for watching I hope uh, maybe I brought your attention to something either you didn't know or reaffirmed something that needed additional attention I hope everyone's enjoying the 
first month of 2016.